Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Jeanette, aka Sue Jean. Thought I'd come on here with another true story. Um, this is something that happened to me quite a few years back. Uh, me and a couple of friends went to take a trip to New Orleans. Uh, we went to go um, party and to go gamble. Um, it was one of those bus trips where you go on a bus, you stay a few days at a hotel, and then the bus brings you back. So I ended up having um, a whole room to myself because there were a lot of couples and um, during that time I happened to be a single and I had my own room. Not that that matters, but anyhow. So the first night we went out and partied all night, didn't get home till like the wee early morning in the wee early hours in the morning. And then we had like a schedule of things that we wanted to do. The following day which was that morning the next morning and so I needed my coffee <laughs> I'm like I, I need coffee if we're gonna do all these things that we have on our agenda on our plan on our schedule mama needs coffee so I go to the coffee pot after, uh, I go to the coffee pot to make some coffee and it was one of those mini coffee pots it only holds like I don't know, three or five cups of coffee. So I get the coffee pot. I walk over to the sink so I can rinse it out, fill it up with water and make some coffee. But before I could even fill it out, I noticed that there was some debris at the bottom of the pot. So then I hold it up and I'm looking through the glass, you know, with the light. And I see like three or four. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gagging, thinking of, just thinking about it. I see like three or four long, like stringy, curly hairs. And I hate to say this, but they look exactly like pubic hairs. And so I'm like so disgusted, you know, and I'm not, I'm not using this, this pot. It's just freaking gross. It's just contaminated. God knows what else is in that pot. And I don't think soap and water in my mind is going to cut it. Like I need a new pot like from the kitchen or from after, you know, I'm sure that they put them in. I don't know. I just felt like I needed a new fresh pot. So I called downstairs and I'm explaining to them that I need a new pot. And she's like, why? I said, the one I have is like really dirty. And she's like, well, what's wrong with it? I'm like, it just is it's just filthy. It's contaminated. And I don't feel safe you using it if, can you just just bring me another one and she was like um I'll see if we have an extra one and I'll have someone send it up to you and I'm like okay thank you and I'm like I don't know I just got a weird vibe like if I was bothering her with it and I'm sure she's busy whatever so a few moments later actually someone comes knocking at the door and so I open the door and it's this uh, really tall big lady and she's like smacking her gum and she already has a face like if she's so bothered and she's like are you the one who needed the who requested a coffee pot and I said yes and I noticed that she didn't have one with her and so I'm like yes um the one I have is just contaminated it's just filthy it's dirty and I just I don't really want to use it I, I need a new a new one I want a clean one and so she's smacking her gum she looks at me up and down and she walks over and she's like like breathing heavy like and she walks over to the coffee pot she gets the coffee pot and she looks in it and i go i know it's disgusting i it looks like pubic hairs to me so i don't know maybe it's hair from someone's head but it, it looks like pubic hairs to me and i don't i really i don't want to use that pot and then she's still smacking her gum with her mouth open like she looks at me again up and down, walks over to the sink, runs the water, rinses the pot out, and hands it right back to me. <laughs> and then she's like, there you go. It's clean now. I, I was at a loss. I was at a loss for words. I was like, are you serious? Like, okay. So I just looked at her 
and I just I was caught so off guard that I didn't know what to say I didn't know how to react and she just walked out closed the door behind her and so I of course didn't make any coffee there I went down uh, to where they were having breakfast and I went and got some coffee there so I was going to file a complaint but I'm not one to file a complaint while I'm still somewhere <laughs> you know I don't want them to like retaliate and go into my room when I'm not there and like go through my stuff or steal something um I don't know why I'm that way even when I go out to eat if something's not right with my food like if they're missing something or something's not as hot or I don't ever like to send my food back only because all the stories that you hear you know like they're gonna cough on your food they're gonna sneeze on your food they're gonna put their fingers in your food put something in your food a hair in your food I don't know so I don't like to complain while I I didn't want to complain while I was still there I said I'm gonna wait till we check out in a couple of days and then I'll uh, you know put in my review and then I'll I'm going to contact corporate because I don't know. I just felt like it was just gross and the customer service was shit there. And so I don't know. Maybe I'm being overly dramatic because I can be like that sometimes. <laughs> but I want to know what your opinion is. Would you have just rinsed it out, gotten the soap or the shampoo, you know, cleaned it out, rinsed it, and then just used it or would you have asked for a fresh pot like how I did um and then come to mention also like after she rinsed it out and dumped it into the sink the debris and the freaking hairs are stuck on the side of the of the basin like of the sink I'm like uh I don't know it just made me want to gag so maybe I am being a drama queen princess um and maybe I should have just washed it with soap and just used it and stopped being such a brat. But in my mind, I was so grossed out. And I was thinking, what else is in there? What else did that disgusting person who placed the hairs in there in the first place? You know, what else could they have done or did to the pot? Um, it could be contaminated. It could have some kind of germs in there. I don't know that person. I, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say? So anyhow, yeah, I think... I'm pretty sure they were pubic hairs. They looked exactly like pubic hairs. <laughs> so, anywho, um, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. You know, comment. And if you like, subscribe by clicking that red button. Actually, yeah, I think it's down there. Uh, click the red button and then click the bell so you can get notifications for future videos. And if you're one of my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, thank you so much for your loyalty to me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.